guys! So today I woke up and I was playing on ds having a grand old time on Animal Crossing when all of a sudden I saw something that just hook me. And it was a reflection of my own face. Now don't get me wrong, I don't hate my face, but sometimes I kind of wish I could do something a little bit more. You know, shake it up a little bit, pretend to be someone else, like as if I had a twin, an alternate Simon. And it just so happens that I've been scrolling around on YouTube and I've been seeing loads of these catfish makeup tutorials and while I do not have the skill to pull off something quite like that, I mean they literally go from one beautiful person to a different type of beautiful person and it is truly a work of art. And clearly I don't have that kind of skill. I mean I have attempted to do a cut crease on so many occasions and every single time it fails. Just every single time. I don't know, I think it's my eyes. They just, they just don't want to work. I do it, it disappears. I do it too high, I look like a clown. It's just no. It's not working. But anyway, the point of all this rambling was the fact that I wanted to try something new. I wanted to be alternate Simer. So today I wanted to become a catfish. I'm not sure if it's become a catfish or just become a person that is catfishing others. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm gonna try and make myself look like alternate Simer. Not normal Simer, but alternate Simer. I'm gonna be trying a bunch of different makeup techniques I don't normally do, so hopefully it kinda works out, fingers crossed. And yeah, we'll just see how this goes. Obviously, this is not a tutorial because I am not qualified to teach anyone anything, but I will try and talk you through some of the weird things that I'm doing, and I'm sure you guys in the comments will just be like, oh my god, what are you doing, Simer? So if you have any tips or tricks or help helpful things then leave them down below. Anyway it's time for the catfishing to begin so first up we're gonna pop in some contact lenses because I feel like almost everyone that I've seen do this video has like this grayish greenish bluish contact lens in like everyone out here looking like white walkers so that's what we're doing today. I've got my contact lenses I'm gonna go to the bathroom and put them in I would do them here but honestly I am terrible at putting in contact lenses. I cry, I bleed, no, I don't bleed. I mean, I have tears from my eyes. It's just, it's not a fun process. So I'm gonna do that and then come back to you guys. So bad, oh my God. I hate this. Oh my God. I hate this so much. Oh my God. I, this one hurts so bad. Oh my God, how do people wear these all the time? Oh my God. Okay, so now that I've lost three gallons of water from my eyes, um, let's jump straight into this tutorial. I was going to start off with the eyes, but honestly, I think I just got to leave them alone for a while, so... Let's do the rest of the face, okay? Let's, let's move on. So first up, I am going to prime my face, because everyone hates pores. And we want some nice, smooth, soft, silky skin. Beautiful. 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 Recently, my skin has, like... It has been going through some weird stuff. Like, look at all these breakouts. Just, what's happening? Like, all of a sudden, wait, you know what? Let me do the makeup routine while I do this. So I'm gonna color correct all this nastiness I was just about to tell you about. Uh, but basically, I don't know, like out of the blue, I started getting loads of texture. Well, actually it wasn't really out of the blue. Basically, my Ulla Henriksen face cream finished, so I moved on to like some of my other face creams, all of which like I've never had a problem with, but they are like slightly on the thicker and richer side. Usually when I have a clogged pore, it'll only get infected or like, you know, turn into a spot if I start messing with it. But this time, like, I didn't stab it at all. So I'm sure I'm like, who hurt you? Why are you doing this to me? But yeah, that was super annoying because they all literally turned into spots. And then when they left, they all left scars. Which is another thing I don't understand because like I did everything <laughs> in my power to avoid the scarring. Like I just left them alone, but they came, they came for me. I don't know why. Okay, so now I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna be contouring my face before applying my foundation. I know it's getting crazy in here. So basically, I saw this video by is his name Scott Barnes. I think I don't know basically JLo's makeup artist was doing makeup on someone and he basically just did hella contour just before adding foundation and actually looked really good and the face looked really nice and sculpted so that's basically what I'm gonna try today and see if it works on me I'm also gonna try and contour my nose I usually never contour my nose if I ever have any leftover bronzer then sometimes I will give it a little brush brush but for the most part I leave it alone I'm fine with my nose but today we're gonna snatch the nose we're gonna make it into a skinny skinny nose so yeah let's just let's just jump into it I'm gonna give myself a whole new facial feature feature a whole new bone structure that's what I'm getting today let's one to one that is a lot I don't think that's even oh well give myself a nice jawline hide that triple chin good bye it feels so weird it's like I'm putting lipstick all over my face oh boy 
Oh god, I messed up. Nope. That, that's three lines. I was supposed to make one fatter and I made three. Anyway, so today I've been working on lots of fun, fun, yet insanely stressful stuff. So if you guys watch like my main channel or like my personal channel, whatever you want to call it, um, I basically did a video with one of my best friends and in that we spoke about doing a podcast and loads of people were like, yeah, do the podcast, it's going to be so awesome, blah, 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 because we said we were going to talk about like real life issues, but then also like K-pop. Uh, K dramas, anime, like everything else that we're interested into, interested into, interested in, and everyone was like, "Oh my god, yes, do it! We're gonna like, be, we're gonna listen. It's gonna be great." So we were like, "You know what? We could, we could together. We bounce off each other real well. So let's do this." So now we have a cute little team. It's like the three of us. It's like me. Oh my goodness, that was a bad idea. Whatever. We're gonna, we're gonna blend it. It's gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, it's like me and my two best friends, both of them are called Fatima, so it's literally Saima, Fatima, Fatima. <laughs> but yeah, like, the three of us, we have a cool little team, and right now we're trying to sort out, like, our mics, and boy oh boy, is it hard. Like, people say, like, setting up a podcast is so easy, you just record and go, and no, it's not. You need to learn so much about mics and audio, and just, it's, it's stressful, okay? It's stressful. Like, I've learned so much <laughs> for the past few weeks, it's insane. It's a bit stressful. Like, it's, um, it's not going great, and also, what am I doing to my face? I don't know. I look like a monster. <laughs> Making it worse. I definitely did a little bit too much with that contour. So I'm just going to try and blend it out with a sponge. Ooh, okay. There's a, mm, there's a bit of a shadow. Boom. Wow, I look like a lunatic. So we're going to highlight now i don't have like a cream highlighting stick so i'm just using a i'm just gonna use a concealer and hopefully that is fine and um yeah um minus the stress of trying to sort out a podcast um i actually bought a brand new camera yay i'm not filming with it right now because like i was going to but then i was like wait a minute i haven't tested this out if it messes up this whole entire video will go to the bin and i don't want that so that was smart. So I thought, you know what, let me just film with my usual setup today and then I'll test out the new camera, see how it goes. If it's great, then next time I'm gonna film on there. I mean, I really do wanna film on there. But yeah, it's a fancy, fancy camera. It has autofocus. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. Like, hello, welcome to the 21st century. I think that's the century we're in now. Right, I'm gonna just go in with a light hand and just add a little bit more because I feel like I've just put on too much concealer. Oof, let's get that cheekbone, honey. I think I snatched my nose. Oh my god. I think I did it. I think I officially snatched my nose. <laughs> I also kind of look like a skeleton, but that is fine. It's time for foundation. Hopefully the foundation doesn't move all of this hard work, because if it does, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, I'm gonna be sad. Okay, honestly, I'm worried. I feel like I've definitely uh, messed up. I watched that one Scott Barnes video and um, I didn't rewatch it, so I feel like I have now royally screwed up what I'm doing here. I'm gonna use some concealer and I'm gonna try and brighten that up. Bring back this fake cheekbone that I actually do not have. Okay, so I feel like that's okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad unless these contacts are seriously messing with me and it actually is terrible. Um, but. It's not bad, it's not bad. Okay, what's next? Anyway, so recently I've been like super into YouTube. I don't know what happened, but basically like I used to be heavy into YouTube content. I would watch YouTube all the time. Then all of a sudden I just kind of stopped. Like, I don't know why. I just, I guess I couldn't really find anything that I liked. And then I ended up just spending all my free time watching anime and like gay dramas instead. But now I'm back into the YouTube stuff. And oh my God, I found this channel. Her name's Bailey something. And basically she does like on Mondays, she does this little series called Murder, Mystery and Makeup. I think that's what it's called. But basically on Mondays she'll do her makeup but at the same time she'll like go over like a true crime story. And it's so fascinating and interesting. Like I love watching stuff like that. And honestly, speaking about podcasts earlier, I really wish she would do one because her voice is like perfect and she's so entertaining. Like I don't even have to watch the screen. Like I can just listen to it and I'm still entertained. So I wanna have like super bronzed chisel cheeks. So I'm gonna go ham with my bronzer. I know I told you guys I would stop using this one, but I'm a creature of habit and I'm also a liar. 
So I'm going to continue using this until um, it messes me up. And no, this was not the cause of my spots because I haven't been wearing makeup lately. Oh my god, what if I do this and I end up really loving it and I'll do this every single day. Oh, I forgot to put foundation on my neck. Okay, I'll fix that problem later. Ooh, let's top up on that blush. I want to be glowing from the heavens. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness. I have orange all over my hands and it's also all over all my makeup from that bronzer. Man, that stick is just too much. Okay, highlight, highlight, highlight. I actually wanted to do a liquid highlight top with like a shimmery highlight because I've heard that makes your highlight pop. Um, but I put on powder already so I don't know if it's going to go down well. Should I powder my under eyes first? I don't know. Let's powder my under eyes first. Bake, bake, bake. I feel like I, I actually might not have enough powder. Ooh, actually. Ooh, I should bake to chisel my nose. Yes. We're about to get a flatched nose. I'm also going to try and put some like here. I've seen people do that. Never did it because I couldn't be bothered. But today, we're going to try if I can get the powder out of this. Now that we are thoroughly baked, it's time to move on to the eyes. I'm going to use a super bright concealer. Because apparently the whiter the concealer, the more your eyeshadow will pop. Um, I don't actually have any super, super white concealer. So I'm just going to use this. And hopefully oh it's actually not that light whatevs we're here now it's gonna be all right i think it's fine it's okay we're gonna make it work <laughs> honestly i'm a little bit shook with the makeup like i did pretty good i mean i don't think it's even at all but like i feel like it's looking good i basically just mixed a whole bunch of pinky purples together and like we're getting something I come back from a snack break. I'm going to enjoy and then continue this makeup look. Everyone keeps getting scared of me for some reason. I think it's the contacts. It has to be freaking people out. Mm. Okay, so I've kind of finished my eyes. I will be putting some more stuff under my eyes. But for now, let's take off this bake. Ooh, bit of ooh, brightness. <coughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. Anyway, um, let's do some highlight and then we can finish off the eyes. I'm just doing everything in the wrong order, but it's fine. I'm gonna try and layer my highlighter and use like a liquid one and a powder one. Doing well. Ooh, glow, 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 glow. Oh my goodness me. I am gleaming. I am the Christmas fairy. Sparkly. Just wetting my brush with some setting spray. Hopefully that does the trick. Oh my god, it's everywhere. I feel like it's looking real dramatic. Oh la la. Now we gotta do brows, lashes, lips. Oh my god, this is taking so long. I didn't think it'd take this long. Okay, so that is the eyes complete. And honestly, I feel like this look is coming together. Like at first I was just like, ah, and now I'm just like, oh, okay. So for brows, I was supposed to do them with a the pomade and then carve my eyebrows out. And then I realized I was supposed to do it at the beginning, not on the end, because now I've got too much product on there. So I'm just going to do my brows kind of like regular, but kind of like go in a bit more, add a bit more drama. Boom. Brows are complete. The brows are good. Oh my god. Wow. Now it's time for the lips. So first up, I'm going to like put some foundation on my lips. So I feel like that's what they will do, right? They put foundation on their lips so they can like redraw everything once again. Oh my goodness. I hate this. Okay, so now that I have erased my lips, it's time to bring them back to life with some lip liner. And I'm gonna overline my lips. Do I blend it? I don't know. Oh my god. Who am I? Right, um, oh my god, wait, this is the whole look. This is the whole look. Oh my god, we're finished. I thought I had more steps to do. It's literally night time now. I've been doing this for hours. Okay, let's just do the last final step, which is setting spray. Oh my god, I've been staring at the light so much. My eyes are like burning now. <sighs> okay, I think this was a success. Anyway, I'm gonna go get changed because I feel like I need a look that matches this. The eye makeup and everything, you look like you're in drag. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm back dressed as alternate to Slimer. Also, I added a little bit of gloss. I thought it'd just add like a little bit of some sum to it. Sorry, I keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm just shook. I'm just like, wow. I just, this is me. I'm, wow. 
Also, my eyes are dry as hell and they're kind of irritated. So I need to wrap this up real quick so I can take these contact lenses out. Also, I don't know how I'm going to take them out because my nails are long and I'm <laughs> terrified <laughs> of taking them out of my eyes. I mean, putting them in was a whole hassle. Take them out. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this little catfish video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and hopefully, I don't know, maybe you learned something or maybe you just found this entertaining just to watch for the lols. All the links to everything I use in this video will be down below, so check them out if you would like to. And remember, you can follow me on social media at like for Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all the good stuff, though I only use Instagram, so head on over there. And if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up and, you know, hit that notification button because YouTube is broken. Um, but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this one, hope you guys helped you guys, and I'll see you next one. Ah! I did it! Oh, yeah, again!